Hi guys, welcome to Sample of TV. Watch this video until the end so that you completely understand how to solve uh, directed numbers. A lot of people they ask me how to solve directed numbers. Like for instance, uh, if I ask you minus three minus two, what is the answer? If you don't know what is the answer or how to find the answer, it means you have to watch this video until the end so that you completely benefit. Also, if you know, I advise you to watch it as well so that you perfect your skills and you also learn some new skills on uh, solving directed numbers. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to ask you, what is the first number? One, no, you're 100% wrong. What is the first number? Zero, no, you are wrong as well. Okay, the first number we don't know, or I don't know. No one knows the first number. No one knows the last number. Do you know the last number? No, you don't know the last number. So numbers, they start from negative infinity via zero up to positive infinity. The word infinity, it means endless. So we don't know the first number. Simultaneously, we don't know the last number. So before zero here or behind zero, it's negatives. Like this, negative three, negative four. So they start from negative infinity. We don't know the first number. And all numbers that are after zero, they will be having the positive sign, like this. So, up to infinity. I'm going to explain to you what will be happening when you are adding and subtracting numbers, so that you completely understand the skills or the rules that I'm going to give you, so that you use them whenever you'll be adding and subtracting numbers especially when you are having mixed in, um, mixed signs. Like for instance, if you have got negative and a positive, uh, like minus 10 plus three, so that you know how to do that. What I'm saying is, for instance, if you have minus 10 plus three. So I'm going to explain to you and teach you how you solve this one, so that you completely know it. Okay, whenever you are adding, if it's a plus, it means you are going forward. Like for instance, if you say uh, positive one plus two, plus it means you are going forward. So you are going to positive one, then you are moving how many times? Two times going forward, one, two. Then our answer is going to be positive three. I know that this you already know uh, that the answer is going to be three, but you didn't know that uh, what you are doing can be proved on the number line. This is what will be happening. Whenever you are subtracting, it means you are going back so for instance let's say you have got um three minus two like this what will be happening here is you are going back if there is no sign here automatically there's a positive sign so what sign do we have here we have a plus it means it's plus three so we're going to plus three here and we are moving how many times two times going back so one two so you see that we are going to be on positive one so it means our answer is going to be positive one okay what if we have minus two minus one it means we're going to minus two and we're moving how many times once going back so our answer will be minus three what if we have uh, positive one minus four where we would be it's positive one and we're moving how many times we're moving four times going back because of this sign so it's positive one one two three four our answer is going to be minus three so what if we have got this now minus one thousand minus two hundred do you think that is possible for you to draw a number line that is that is started minus thousand and also until minus 200 then you move 200 times going back that is impossible that's why i'm going to give you the rules that you have to use for you to know how to solve this and it won't be difficult for you now i'm going to give you the first rule i want you to completely listen and understand on this i'm going to give you rule number one what is rule one same signs add and maintain this sign okay let me write it here same signs 
It means if you have same signs, what do you mean by saying, what do I mean by saying same signs? It means let's say if you have got a negative and a negative or a positive and a positive. So if you have same signs, add and maintain the sign. It's not even complicated. This statement you can say it in, in two seconds. Same signs, add and maintain the sign. So, it means if you have got the same signs, you are just going to add and you maintain the sign. For instance, let's say you have got minus 2, minus 1. What are you going to do here? We have got same signs. 2 plus 1, what is the answer? Is 3 and you maintain the sign, which is negative. So, it will be minus 3. What if you have got minus 100, minus 5? We do have same signs here. So, what are you doing? You are going to add and maintain the sign. So, if you say 100 plus 5, it's going to be 105. Then you maintain the sign. It will be negative 100 and... Five. And also, if you still remember, there's another question that I asked you that what if you have got negative 1000 minus 200? So, what are you going to do now? You are just going to add and you maintain the sign. You see, that is simple, it's very, very simple. So, it will be negative 1200. Also, if you have got 8 plus 2. What is going to be our answer here? What is the sign here first? Automatically it's a positive sign. If there's no sign, it means it's a positive sign automatically. So you're just going to say 8 plus 2. What is your answer? It's 10. Positive sign, you can write it or you cannot write it. So this is the first rule that if you want to know math, if you want to be perfect in math, you won't be able to solve any mathematical problem if you don't know this. Because this concept, is uh, it applies even on equations and on many topics this concept it applies so rule one i'm just going to give you two rules rule one if you have same signs you add and maintain the sign that's what you do so let's go to the second rule rule two now you have different signs on rule two so let me say different signs now, if you have got different signs, subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and take sign of the bigger number. Simple and straightforward. Different signs, subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and take sign of the bigger number. For instance, let's say we have negative 10 plus 3, like this. Did you see something here? Yes. We don't have same signs. These signs are different. So what are you going to do? You subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and take sign of the bigger number. Yes, I know that um, minus 10 is less than positive 3. But at first, you have to ignore the signs. Ignore the signs and then take the numbers as they are. That is what I'm saying. Uh, you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Then you take sign of the bigger number. So what is going to happen here? If you say 10 minus 3 does 7, you take sign of the bigger number, which is negative. So our answer is going to be negative 7. As simple as that. What if you have got minus 20 plus 8? Same thing. Subtract the small number from the bigger number and take sign of the bigger number. So it's going to be 20 minus 8, that is 12. Then you take sign of the bigger number. So it's going to be negative 12. Simple and straightforward. What if we have 6 minus 11 like this if there's no sign here automatically there's a positive sign so it means we have got different signs here so we are going to say 11 minus 6 what's going to be your answer your answer is going to be 5 and you take sign of the bigger number it's, it will be minus 5 what if you have minus 10 plus 18 same thing as well, you have got different signs. So if you have different signs, you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and you take sign of the bigger number. So you have 8. 18 minus 10, that's 8. So it will be positive 8. Now, what if you have got something like this? Minus 8 plus 8. Your answer is going to be 0. And 0 doesn't have a sign. I hope that uh, you completely understand how to solve this. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos that are beneficial like this. Also, if you have any question, write your question on the comment section. You can like my Facebook page, Sempoff. Also, on Likey, you can find me there on Likey.
you can find me there uh same off as well share to others that you think that uh, they also struggle with uh directed numbers subscribe for more videos that are beneficial like this i shall keep on uh, uploading videos that will help you to be mathematically sharp to be perfect on mathematics as i always say keep revising if you don't revise you are not going to pass maths if you don't listen to your parents you are not going to pass maths so you have to keep on revising keep on listening to your parents don't forget to subscribe and like the video stay focused